If you know anything about hill walking in Scotland, you'll have heard of the Munros, a set of 282 peaks that are over 3,000 feet high. They're all in the Highlands, with the furthest south being Ben Lomond, which is still 30 miles north of Glasgow. Behind me isn't a Munro, it's Arthur's Seat, the highest point in Edinburgh, a relatively easy climb that gives wonderful views of the city. But, it, but whilst it's not a Munro, it does fit into another category of hills, a category known as Marilyn's. Marilyn's are named after the actress Marilyn Munro, although it's worth noting that Munro the actress is not spelt the same way as Munro the hill, and that the hills were categorised a good few decades before she was born. Marilyn's are any hill with a prominence of more than 150 metres. Prominence is a measure of relative height when taking into consideration other peaks nearby. Imagine a mountain that has a second peak off to the side. The prominence is the height of that peak as it comes off the taller mountain. Another way to visualise this is to imagine that the sea level rises so that the peak is the highest point in the island. The height of the mountain at the lowest sea level where that happens is its prominence. Sometimes some of the highest peaks in the world are at we have a really low prominence. For example, Everest Second Summit is the second highest peak in the world, being only 100 metres shorter than the main peak, but its prominence is only around 10 metres. Also, the prominence of a peak can be defined by another peak really far away. For example, the second highest peak in the Americas, which is in Alaska, has its prominence based on the highest peak, which is in Argentina. There are just over 2,000 islands in the British Isles, including Ireland, and whilst most of the biggest mountains are included, 79 of the Monroes aren't because of their uh, proximity to other Monroes. Some of the Marylands also aren't that impressive. For example, Crosborough in East Sussex has one in it, and the top of Bishop Walton Wold, which is alongside the A166 in Yorkshire. But opposite to that, we have some of the hardest climbs in the UK or Marylands where they're not as high as Monroes. For example, Stack Lee and Stack Ann Armin off of St Kilda, 80 miles west of the Scottish mainland. It's partly thanks to these difficult stacks, as well as just the sheer number, that the first complete round of Marylands on Great Britain alone wasn't completed until uh, 2014. I like this one, however, as it's easy to climb and give some excellent views. It does get a bit crowded, though. Oh, look, I can see my house. 